The label on a candy bar says 500 calories, assuming a typical efficiency for energy use by the body. If a 65 kilogram person were to use the energy in this candy bar to climb the stairs, how high could she go? So we have a person here. A person climbing stairs, however high. And they want to know what is the height that she can go or what is her delta Y. And they say that she eats a candy bar and it is 500 calories. 500 big C calories. So how much energy is that? Let's turn that into joules. So we know in one big C calorie, there's a thousand little C calories. And then from the constants page, up on the top right under the resources tab, you go down to conversion factors. It tells us that for every one little C calorie, there are 4.19, 4.19 joules of energy. So whenever we calculate this out, we have 500 times that by thousands, 500,000 times by 4.19. And if you look, the big C calories cancel, the little C calories cancel, and we're left with just the joules, which is what we want. That gives us 2,095,000 2 joules. So this is the total amount of energy that that candy bar gives us to use to climb up those stairs. But they tell us in the question that we have to assume a typical efficiency for energy use by the body. So what they're saying is we know that we have two million joules that that candy bar is giving us but we can't use all of that. Our body's just not as efficient as we would like it to be to be able to use that two million. That'd be awesome if we could but we don't. And so in the book, they talk about how for an average human, efficiency is around like 20 to 30 percent. For some, it's obviously going to be a little higher, closer to 30, some maybe a little lower, and that's just a rough estimate. So they tell us in the book that, hey, for these problems, just so that we're all on the same page, let's use an efficiency of 25 percent or 0.25. So how much of this 2 million are we able to use? If we times that by 0.25%, that gives us 523,750 joules. So this 500,000, that is the amount of energy that we're actually able to use to do work. So now let's continue on talking about work. Let's write down the work energy equation. So we know that the change in energy in our system, or a system I guess, is equal to the change in kinetic energy plus the change in gravitational potential energy, or delta U, plus the change in thermal energy Obviously, climbing up stairs is going to heat you up pretty good. And then the change, we're adding the change in chemical energy, which we are using this 523,000. That is our change in chemical energy. Now we are also adding any other kind of energy but we don't have any of that we're going to deal with and that is all equal to the amount of work. So let's cross a couple of these out and simplify it down to what we're actually going to use. There, are, there is no energy input into this system. We're not adding anything in here so work is going to be zero. They tell us in the problem that, or maybe they don't, but we're just going to assume that they're climbing at a constant rate. So since their velocity is constant, the kinetic energy isn't changing. 
And so that is also zero. Um, if that confused you, maybe it, it didn't. Just remember it's the change in kinetic energy, not how much total the total kinetic energy, but since we'll have the exact same that we end up with as we started out with, the change of kinetic energy is zero. All right, so obviously we're going to have some sort of a change in potential gravitational potential energy. That's what we're trying to find, or what we're going to use to find the delta y. And we're heating up definitely. If we're going to run up those stairs, and we have the change in kinetic uh, chemical energy, which is from the candy bar. All right, so now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move over, or here, let me rewrite this. So we have change in gravitational potential energy plus the change in thermal energy plus the change in chemical energy is equal to zero. So now let's move over this change in chemical energy. So now we have that the change of gravitational potential energy plus the change of thermal energy is equal to the change of chemical energy. Okay, so we have our final equation that we're going to use here. Well, almost final equation. So what about this change in thermal energy? What's going on there, right? Up here with this two million joules, not all of that is gonna help us go up and down the stairs, right? Only 25% of that is. Well, what is the rest of the 75% doing? We're, that is being converted to our thermal energy down here. So since we already took into account the loss for thermal energy and we're just looking at the amount of energy that we can use to help us go up and down the stairs, we can get rid of the thermal energy. So finally that leaves us with the change in a gravitational potential energy is equal to the change in chemical energy. So now let's substitute in what delta U equals. So delta U obviously is mgy, mass times gravity times the change in y, which is equal to the change in chemical energy. So now we want to isolate delta y. That's what we're looking for in the problem. So let's divide both sides of the equation by mg, mg, and we have our final equation delta y is equal to change in chemical energy divided by mass times gravity. So now let me give us a little more room and let's just plug it in. So we figured out that there is 523,000 750 joules that we can use of the chemical energy to do work. We're going to divide that. Let's see, there's 65, right? Yeah, 65 kilograms. 65 kilograms times 9.8 times 9.8 gives us 822.214 meters rounded for uh, significant figures gives us 820 meters. So with a 500 calorie candy bar, that person can climb up a delta Y of 820 meters. Now, maybe you don't really care about this last part, but keep in mind that is not the total distance that she's walking. That is just her change in delta Y. She's gonna walk a little bit farther because the hypotenuse or where the stairs are is going to be a longer distance than the change in Y. 
But anyway, that might be a little more than you care about, but there you go, 820 meters.